What is going on guys? Welcome to your 8th MySQL tutorial and in this lesson I want to start off by talking about fully qualified names. Now let me go ahead and show you guys what the heck I'm talking about. Select address from customers. I'll go ahead and show you guys the variation that we've been doing and then I'll show you guys how to make fully qualified names. So if you go ahead and run this query we can see that it selects all the addresses from the customers in our table. Simple enough so what is a fully qualified name? A fully qualified name would be something like this. Select customers.address from customers. We go ahead and run this query. It gives the exact same thing. So basically, am I saying that there is two different forms of writing the same query? Two different variations of the same syntax? <coughs> well, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. So why is this the case? Why would they make MySQL to basically be we can give it two different instructions in the exact same way. So first of all, whenever you're working in a class and you have a really strict teacher, they may r make you write the fully qualified names just to, you know, make your life more miserable. Or a more useful way that you could you would write fully qualified names is say you were making a huge website and you had something like eBay where you had buyers and sellers. Now buyers and sellers both have addresses so you may want to write okay buyers address sellers address and then quickly just by looking at your code you can determine what table you're working with. So whenever you have a lot of tables and you have the same column in multiple tables it may be useful so that is you know a different way when you would want to use fully qualified names but for the rest of these tutorials I'm just going to be using the I don't know what they're called fully unqualified names I guess. I don't know, I just made that up, don't quote me. But now that we understand fully qualified names, basically, it doesn't, you know, matter performance-wise, it's just, you know, okay, I'm just going to move on, because enough with fully qualified names, they're boring. What isn't boring, though, is learning how to sort our results. So let me go ahead and run a simple query, like select a name from customers. Go ahead and hit go, and look at our results. Bucky, Noah, Kelsey, Corey, Harry, okay, that's nice, but our boss is going to come in and he's going to be like, dude, Bucky, these names are way too randomized, I want this in alphabetical order, and we're like, oh, crap, how the heck do we do that? But lucky for you, you've been watching my tutorials, and you know that if you add the keyword, order by, and then you go ahead and write the criteria you want to order your results by, you can go ahead and hit go and check it out. Whenever we hit order by name, it takes the results and orders by the name. Now, whenever we're ordering um, like letters, it's going to order alphabetically, and whenever we're ordering numbers, it's going to order that, what's it called? Not alphabetically, but by number, I guess? I don't know how to say that. Numerically. There we go. Bam, baby. So, by default, it orders it from A to Z. And we can change that later on. I'll show you guys how to um, order in reverse alphabetical order later on. But now I want to mention this because now that we know how to order results, you may be thinking, okay, what if I wanted to retrieve some information? For example, I wanted to retrieve the name and the address from customers, but I wanted to order by the ID number. Can I do this even though the ID number isn't retrieved? Well, yes you can, this is perfectly legal. Results can be sorted by their ID even though we don't want the ID to be retrieved. So let me go and check it out. As you can see in our result set we get Noah, or excuse me, Bucky, Noah, Kelsey, Corey, Harry. And at first this may look unsorted totally, but if we browse the entire customers table, check out the IDs. Bucky, Noah, Kelsey, Corey, Harry. So this information is sorted by their ID number even though the ID number was not retrieved. Now I want to mention this. Another thing that people get confused a lot about is whenever they want to sort multiple columns. Now we already learned how to retrieve multiple columns. For example, we can retrieve the ID, name, and address of you know a table. But what if we wanted to do something like this? We wanted to retrieve multiple columns. Well, let me just go ahead and show you guys an example because if I talk, try to explain it without showing you guys an example, it's going to get kind of confusing. So I'll just show you guys the example first. Select state, city, and name. 
So this is the information we want from customers and we want to order by state and name. So let me go ahead and run this and check it out. What I'm trying to say is this. At first, the first criteria we give it to order by is state. And so it takes and orders the states alphabetically. Arkansas, Alabama, I don't know what these are. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Like Alabama, I think. California, I know that one. But check it out. Even though all these states are sorted alphabetically, look what happens whenever we have one, two, three, four, five, six Californias. So it's going to say, okay, I ordered the states, but how do you want me to order all of the people that are in California? Well, whenever we have multiple states, we say, okay, now that you've done that, now the next criteria to sort by is the name of the people. So it says, okay, first I sorted by state, and then within those states, I'm going to order the people in that state based on, you know, of course, alphabetical order. So basically, states are arranged in order, and then each person in that state are arranged alphabetically. And we did this by giving it more than one order criteria first order by state and then order by name. So again, the rule for this is the same as whenever we're selecting multiple columns, one less comma than column name. So just remember that and you'll be good to go. So anyways, that is how you retrieve multiple columns and order by multiple columns. So okay, probably brain overload right now. So I'm going to let you guys take a break, go get a glass of chocolate milk, come back and watch the next video. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. And don't forget, if you have any questions, just ask me on the forum.